What's up everyone, Patrick here. Welcome back. Moving on to the next question. So a plane flew 4,000 kilometers with the wind in eight hours and then the same trip, the return trip, against the same wind speed took 10 hours and we have to find both the plane and the wind speed. So since we're finding both of these things, I'm actually gonna introduce two variables, X and Y. So we're gonna let X be the plane speed and then let's let Y be the wind speed. So notice that there's two types of trips uh, being taken here. So we're going with the wind and then against the wind. And notice that the distance for both trips is the same. It's that 4,000 kilometers. So creating a little chart here. But what's the speed going to be in each one? Well, when we're flying with the wind, then the speed of the plane, it's gonna be its own speed, x, plus the wind speed, right? The wind is pushing it. So the speed in this case is gonna be x plus y. And then the time it takes traveling with the wind is going to be eight hours. Now, going back, the return trip against the wind, we're gonna have the plane speed, but now it's, going against the wind speed, so the wind is actually slowing it down. So it's gonna be X minus Y. Okay, and then with that speed going against the wind, because the plane's gonna be going slower, it's gonna take longer, so it's gonna be 10 hours, like that. And we know just in general that what? Distance equals speed times time. So notice with that formula, we can create two equations here. We could say distance equals speed times time. And I'm going to put that time in front. Then over here, same thing, 4,000 equals speed times time, but the 10 I'm going to put in front just because it looks nicer like that. And now notice we have two equations and then two unknowns. So we could solve using substitution or elimination. Now before solving, what I'm going to do is actually simplify these. So this I could simplify. There's two different ways you could do it. You could distribute the 8 inside the bracket if you want, but because the 8 is outside and it multiplies into 4,000 smoothly, you could just divide both sides by 8 and then those 8s would cancel out. 4,000 divided by 8 would give us what? 500. So we'll have 500 equals x plus y. That 8 went away. I just feel like this equation is a lot more simple to deal with than that equation. They're the exact same equations. We just took this one and simplified it. And over here, divide this by 10, divide that by 10. Notice those 10s cancel out. 4,000 divided by 10, that would give us 400. And we're left with that x minus y. So the solutions to this set of equations and the solution to this set of equations is going to give us the exact same solution because they're both the same set of equations. This one is just a lot more simplified. And then from here, really easy, we can just do, uh, let's do substitution. Actually, you know what? Because we have, yeah, we have a plus minus y here. Got the same coefficient one in front. Let's just add these. So plus y minus y, that would give us zero. x plus x gives us 2x. And then uh, 500 plus 400 gives us 900. And then we could divide by 2. x would be 450. And then um, we could plug it in. We could plug in this x value to either or. Let's plug it into this one. So we'll have 500 equals 450 plus y. y would be 50. So 450 kilometers per hour is the plane speed. And then 50 kilometers per hour is the wind speed. And you could have also solved this with uh, substitution. You could have also solved it with the original equations. There would just be a lot more algebra. Whichever way you do it, just make sure you're getting these final answers. And then you could check them. So when we're flying with the wind, we would have 450 plus 50, 500 kilometers per hour. 500 kilometers per hour times eight hours gives us 4,000. And then if we're going against the wind, it'd be 450 minus 50, which would give us 400 kilometers per hour 
400 kilometers per hour times 10 hours gives us that 4,000 again.